Well, what I can tell you is as bad as Bobby Lashley and Omos was, that oh, yeah. was a five-star match compared to Mr. McMahon versus Pat McAfee. Vince, after the this matches... This was the worst. This, this, was, this, was, this will probably win the worst match of the year, don't you think? I can't imagine anything being worse than this match. Yeah. Vince is outside the ring, and he's talking to Austin Theory, and Pat McAfee's in the ring, and they're jaw-jacking back and forth, and McAfee basically challenges him to get in the ring, and Vince teases doing it, but then starts to walk away, but then stops, and he takes off his jacket, and he takes off his shirt, and he's got his his tank top on. Him and, uh, and uh, Pat McAfee actually had the same gear this evening, the uh, black pants and the uh, black tank top. So he gets in the ring, and there's a referee in the ring, and the announcer's like, what the hell's going on? And they ring the bell, and it's Pat McAfee versus Mr. McMahon. And this is, as God is my witness, one of the worst matches you'll ever see. Vince throws hey, I, these, quote, lariats, which is basically... I, I, I'm trying to think what the worst match... What's the worst match in the history of WrestleMania? In the history of WrestleMania? I mean, it could be Cole and Lawler. I mean, that was horrible. I don't uh, think it was bad as this. No, this is much worse. Yeah. Um, Dude, Vince is I- 76 years old, and he can't do anything. Like, he can this put his the- arm out, and Pat McAfee runs into it, and he can kind of walk around a little bit hunched over. But, dude, he couldn't do anything. And McAfee just has to bump for this guy, and he has to fall down for this guy. And Vince isn't even doing anything. And it's not like there's interference from Theory. It's not like Theory zapped him with a cattle prod or, you know, trapped him in a giant mouse trap. He's just... Pat McAfee's getting his ass kicked by Vince McMahon. And then finally Vince gets his football. I swear to God this is a finish. He boots the football into McAfee's ribs... And then pins him. Yep. Oh my God, it was so bad. But I mean, I will say, like, as soon as he grabbed that football, I knew exactly where this was going. So he pins him, and then him and and uh, Austin Theory are celebrating, and the place is booing, and it's going on forever. So you know the music's going to hit. And in fact, the glass breaks, and out comes Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he gets in the ring. And as bad as that match was. He gives Austin Theory the stunner, and Austin Theory took the best. He jumps 10 feet in the air. He <laughs> kicks his legs. He bumps. He flops. It was so awesome. Yeah, he did the, the, the Dwayne Johnson stunner bump. Yes. And then, and then of course, you know, Vince knows he's he's doomed. He does the big gulp, and he begs off, and, and he goes, let's just drink a beer for old time's sake. And, and Austin goes, oh, you want to drink a beer? And so he goes, hey, throw us in some beers. And they start throwing the beers in. And, like, everybody on the face of the planet knows what's going to happen, except Vince, of course. And they both get a beer. And Vince, of course, plugs Austin's new beer. And they toast and everything like that. And then all Vince has to do, he just has to stand there. And Austin's going to give him the lightest boot ever. And Vince just has to bend for a little bit. And Austin's going to give him the stunner. But instead, Austin gives him this boot, and Vince decides that he's got to sell it. But of course, in selling it, he loses his balance, and he stumbles backwards, and he bonks into the ropes, and he falls down. Austin is, he's got two knee braces on. He's sprinting after Vince, trying to grab him. Vince can't get to his feet. Austin's trying to drag him to his feet. He finally gets him up. He goes for the stunner. Vince takes, like, you know, for old time's sake, the worst stunner in the history of man. Worse than when Linda took it. Worse than the 5,000 stunners Vince took in his career, none of which were any good. Steve Austin is howling with laughter. He's not even mad. He's just, he's he's openly well, he knows laughing. It, he, know, he knows it's like, like it's if, if it was like a serious match, like if Steve Austin was in a match with like Shawn Michaels or somebody, and, and of course it couldn't be this bad, because it couldn't be. Um, Because no professional wrestler could have done it this bad. But if it was, like, bad, he would probably be pissed. But in this situation, it's kind of like, look, we, 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 we saw the worst... It's the guy taking the worst stunner of all time, and let's just... It's, it's, and it's Vincent Mann, and it's just hilarious. <laughs> and it was! And, and I, I wouldn't have it. wanted it any other way, because Vince has never taken a good stunner bump. There's no way that Steve Austin went in thinking it was going to be anything but a disaster. It was a total disaster. It was it was more of a disaster than I bet you he was thinking. I tweeted the, the video of Mick Foley. His son got a video of him. This happened, and Mick Foley's in hysterics. 
I think everybody around the world was in hysterics at this bump. Who cares? It's WrestleMania. Austin drank his beer. And uh, that was that. We no, had he, to have one last Vince McMahon stunner by Steve Austin, even yeah. if it was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I tell you what. Um, everyone's got, you know, I, you know, as far as Vince being on TV, whatever, that's fine. Vince should not be doing anything physical. No, anymore, dude, this has to be again. the end. Ever again, ever again, should not be doing. He, uh, you know, to, to, to make up for it, uh, you know, he gave uh, Pat McAfee a stunner. McAfee took it like... A champ. The funniest thing was McAfee, like on his back, pretending to be knocked out from the stunner while somehow drinking beer at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That was really funny. Uh, everything, everything about this segment. I mean, this really was. I mean, it was horrible. That Vince McMahon pack, Pat McAfee match was an absolute atrocity. But I mean, you know, it was done, and I felt bad for McAfee because what a geek he looked like in that match. But. Yeah, but they didn't like. Like I, I, that's the, the thing is, is like. What was the purpose of Vince McMahon beating Pat McAfee other than, okay, it's heat to build up? That was for, it. It was heat. But you could have done that without pinning Pat you, McAfee. You could have just done a big, both well, of them could, beating him up afterwards or Vince right, commanding right. him to or whatever. Get some or heat, just, pour beer on him, whatever. Just, just you know what? Like It's like, just give him a low blow. Yes, anything. Sell. And then it put the boots, have two guys put the boots to him, have Austin come down. You know, and, and have, like, Vince barely put the boots and have Theory do most of the work. You know what they should have done, Dave? I don't want to rebook this, but they should have had... Okay, so so McAfee gets the win, and he's jaw-jacking with Austin Theory, and all Vince has to do is get on a knee and give him the low blow. Pat McAfee goes to his knees, and then Vince just has to start messing with his trousers like he's going to make Pat McAfee kiss his ass like we've seen a million times. And as he's trying to get his pants down, that's when the damn music hits. You don't humiliate McAfee. You don't have Vince do anything physical except a low blow. You know, Vince is doing whatever. That would have been a thousand times better than a horrible match where Pat McAfee got pinned after his performance he had with Austin Theory. Yeah. Um, and also, it's like you, you know, it's, it's like the way he had to sell in that match it's like he you he, it's like it's like he came off so bad i mean i know people will overlook it because you know he's very likable and because he did such a great job in the theory well, no match. one's blaming him there's but, but, pity for the poor guy of well, course I mean, he I has to sell for, like that for I, I have pity for him too but it's like he had to sell the shittiest offense yes in the history of the world and you know it's like uh, Dude, his buddy's back on the trampoline. Better offense than Vince McMahon. Guaranteed. Um, how could it not be? I mean, it was it was seriously the worst looking running. I mean, I've seen like immobile Omos. Like this was worse than any Omos match ever. Oh, by leaps and bounds. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.